Let's see if we can grow some grapes. Hello friends and welcome back to Joyful Half Acre. I'm Kim. It is a gloomy day outside. It is just rainy and gloomy. The temperature is nice. I think it's supposed to be 40 degrees today, which is really nice for February, but it's so gloomy and my garden is covered in snow. So it's a good day to start planting some things in the house. Today we're gonna to be planting some loofah, some grapes, and pawpaws. The loofah I just got from the store, these seeds, and I'm gonna plant three pots of them, probably put a couple in each pot, and we'll see what grows from there. The pawpaw, I got these down at the Stivers uh, Harvest Festival last fall. Had a really good time there. I've got a video about that. I'll link it in the description box below. Such a fun event. That was my first ever homesteading event and I had so much fun. I am now planning on going to more this year. Uh, the first one will be the Shindig. That's going to be fun. The Roots, and Roots and Refuge Farms Shindig. I'm really excited for that in April. But So, Anyway, back to what I was saying, I got these pawpaw seeds at the Stivers get together. So I am going to try to grow them. Now I did already put them in the, I read the instructions. It was really nice of whoever brought these to leave instructions for them because I have never seen a pawpaw before. They just don't really, aren't popular up here in Iowa, I guess. I don't know, either that or I'm just weird and have never heard of them but we are going to get these planted. I've got three pots designated for them also, and I'm gonna get them put in there. Uh, use tall containers to accommodate the long tapper. Well, I probably didn't give a tall enough container, but we'll start them in here and see how it goes. Oh, interesting. Huh. Seed sown one inch deep in a well aerated soil mix. Interesting. So, is this the seed then? So does the whole thing get planted? You know what, I'm gonna pause on this a minute and go watch a friend of mine, Kim from Unpolished Gardens, just planted some of these. So I'm gonna go watch her video real quick and see how she did it because I know she's getting sprouts from hers. I rewatched Unpolished Gardens' video on this and the way she planted them was down like this with the seed planted and the root down and maybe just this little bit right sticking up to the top. So I am going to do that with these three that I have and I will just transfer some of the dirt over and then <laughs> put it back when I'm done. Root clear down in there and we'll see if this works. Hopefully it does. Never seen a pawpaw, never tasted one, but always up to try new things, so this will be interesting if it works. All right, pawpaws are done. I'm trying to grow lots of new and different things this year. I want to experiment. Usually I just grow the basic plain stuff, and which is great. I mean, I'm always glad to have corn and carrots and uh, tomatoes, peppers, but I'm going to experiment, ooh, <laughs> kid dropped a toy. I'm going to experiment with different things this year and uh, I've actually never grown squash before and I'm going to try that this year. Putting three in each pot just <clears throat> so we'll see what I get. If I get too many, well, that's all right, because actually that's probably way too many. Maybe I'll just put two in the last pot, because if all of them grow, I think eight loofah plants would be way too much. From what I've seen other people this year watching their videos, loofah grows pretty good. One plant, you get a lot of fruit off of it, and I won't be eating it. I'm growing these because... Um, I'm hoping to make my own soap and use these in it for little scrub brushes in them. That is my goal. So if these all grow, I'm going to have lots of scrub brush soap. Yeah, brushes for soap. So, All right, grapes. 
I love grapes. These grape seeds came from a friend of ours. He gives us some grapes off of his. They're Concord, his uh, vines. Well, and uh, these are Concord grape seeds. And I'm not 100% sure I uh, did it right so far. I know they were moist when I put them in here, but I did not put a moist paper towel in here with it. And I did have them in the fridge though. So they have been in a cold environment, but we'll see what grows. If it doesn't, that's fine. If it does, great. It's all an experiment. See what happens. <laughs> I am not the best gardener, but I try, and that's what I want to encourage all of you watching. Just try. Just plant something, and you, you can't grow anything if you don't try. Just try. Just start. All right. Get these watered, and then I'm going to show you my greenhouse, everything that's been growing. And then I just realized that I forgot to label these, and there is no way I would remember what these were later. I'm sure I would mix them up and probably think the loofahs were the grapes and the grapes were the loofahs. <laughs> so I better label these real quick before I put them in the greenhouse, otherwise I'm going to be confused later on, <laughs> especially as the season gets going more and I get more planted. My goal for this year was to plant something new every week of this whole year. I've planted a lot of stuff this year, so I'm very happy and I'm going to continue to plant more at least throughout the spring and summer and into the fall. Next winter might be difficult, but... <laughs> oh, I have an alarm going off. Just a minute. Okay, now I can get back to this. I have a three-year-old who's potty training, so I had to go take care of a potty break real quick. Uh, Okay, <laughs> see I already about forgot what one, which one was which. She uh, is a little later to potty training, a little more stubborn. <laughs> My other kids, seems like if I waited till they were three, they'd just potty train in like two days they were done. They were all easy for the most part. She is a little more stubborn. <laughs> so, we're working on it today. All right, I'm going to finish labeling these and then show you my greenhouse. And here they are under the grow light, and I really hope that they grow good. Looking forward to seeing what I get. All right, and I'm going to have to move that. Hmm. I'm going to have to rearrange and move this pot because it's not going to get much sun now. That is my zinnias and marigolds, and they're growing really nice. And up here, and I know I planted them way too early, I'm sure, but I really wanted some flowers, so I'm excited to get flowers. Here I've got parsley, and I've got a couple of them growing up. I'm excited about that. Oh, and one over here. And also my basil, and I still have one thyme over here, and one of this popped up. It's amazing how sometimes it takes weeks, but it finally pops up. Oh, that's a rosemary. So I have one rosemary, one thyme, lots of basil. None of my sage has popped up. Then my strawberries back there are still doing really nice. Got zinnias over there, the agiritum, whatever that is. None of that's grown yet, but my pansies, those are growing, aren't they neat? I was excited. Those just popped up like yesterday. It, I haven't had them for very long. Those are very nice. And look, I have a lavender. I have a couple lavenders, I think. Yep, there's one. And there's one. I am really excited about that. I was hoping that lavender would grow. And my nasturtium. Now this, <laughs> got two of those. Oh, and the third one's popping up through too. This I'm, is funny because I do not grow that right. From everything I've read and seen online, you need to do this, that, and the other thing and like scrape the seed or something. And I don't know. 
same with lavender. I've heard you have to like make sure it's really warm and I do everything wrong. Everything. And I still get stuff. So that's just an encouragement for all of you who don't know what you're doing. I know that I do things wrong and I still look have lavender and nasturtium and pansies and all this green growth. My lettuce, yeah, that's sad. Let's not look at that. Yeah, that one's sad too. I learned that, I'll show you my other tomato plant. I overwater things, like a lot. I was wondering why all the leaves were so wilted and then I looked it up and yeah, I way overwater things, but Hopefully, maybe water a little less and maybe it'll pop back. If not, hey, it's February and I still have this tomato growing, so I'm still happy. All right, and my other lettuce, and it's going pretty good. It's starting to take off here, so I'll try not to overwater that. Also, onions. That looks like I'm going to have some onions to plant out. And my aloe that I repotted is much happier. And this I know not to overwater, so that one I do do good on that. And of course my, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. what are those called? Every time, I cannot remember the names of those. P, starts with a P, right? I need to label them. I need to label them with what they're called so that I don't forget, because I every time I forget poinsettia. <laughs> oh, I hate it when I do that. Okay, these are poinsettias. And you know what? I am going to label them right now because I just cannot remember names of things. I never can. I'm surprised I remember my own name half the time. So I'm going to label these. And I'm sure I spelled it wrong. So I will put it somewhere where you can't see it, but I can so that I remember what these are called. As I was saying, my poinsettias still look beautiful. And that's my little greenhouse for now. It's starting to fill up a little bit. So thanks for watching my little greenhouse video today and me just <laughs> rambling on sometimes. I'm excited that I got to dig in the dirt a little bit today and plant something. I am so looking forward to spring. I'm over winter and I'm ready to get outside again. Although today it's maybe warm enough to, but it's so muddy. <laughs> I guess that's what comes with spring, the mud. So thanks for watching today, friends. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and continue to join us in this joy-filled life. Thanks.